To have this is Bedford as the biggest centre for the BBC outside of London was certainly quite amazing. And to have all that number around the town, billeted in the town, must have had quite a considerable impact and would have been very difficult to keep quiet. Bedford School played a key role in the BBC's operation. And today, as the strings snatch a lunch break to rehearse in the Great Hall, they're following a great tradition. During the war, the Great Hall was BBC Studio 7. It was the BBC Symphony Orchestra's favourite place, acoustically the finest place they'd ever played. When the orchestras played, the boys would lean over the balconies, awestruck. One of them was Derek Gray. He went to school here during the war. He's 91 now, and more than 70 years on, his memory is pin sharp. When you used to, to, to steal a moment or two to watch the rehearsals, where was your favoured position? Oh, up here. Um, you would be up there, yeah. would you? Mm. Yeah. Yes, because at, at the end, you, you get a um, sort of a lopsided view. But there, you, 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 you're, you've got more of a panoramic viewing spot. Mm.